welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in November. This reading is for all of the Aries out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the energy in November. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your moon, your Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading and you want to show some support to the channel, some support from me to me, <laughs> hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted as well as new information. Check out the community section of this page. If um, Also, hit the thumbs up image. Can't forget that to help the video circulate. And if you need something more private, something more specific and personal to your story, the link to the email address for a private reading is in the description box below this video. All right, let's see what's going on with the sign of Aries. Okay, threes, six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, two of pentacles. Okay, so I'm going to be focusing on money, page of cups in a reverse. This could have something to do with someone you met at work or someone in business. The Six of Wands, that is your energy, Aries. Okay, cards coming out in threes. The Three of Pentacles. The Hangman, Pisces energy. The Two of Wands. So you, I see you have a decision to make. Let's see what else is here for the sign of Aries. Some of you are stuck. Something or someone is stuck. Okay. And King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what is going on. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you want to have a conversation with someone. You want to be honest with this person. You want to tell them how you feel. You also, I'm also seeing you contemplating on cutting someone or something off. Could be because some this person is given to multiple people, multiple things. I'm seeing you giving a lot of yourself, juggling multiple things, multiple people. But someone here is juggling. I'm, I'm seeing someone here juggling multiple people. And I feel like it's here two times. I feel like that is what caused either you or this person to stop putting work in this union. And now I'm seeing someone standing there waiting for the ships to come in like okay what are you going to do are you going to balance this out or no are you going to balance this out or no because someone here is just focusing on themselves from what i'm seeing Or someone here is just focusing on their finances. It's something here about finances and someone giving to multiple people. Someone could also be in business with multiple people and need to balance things out. Yeah, I don't see you offering love to anyone at this time with that page of cups in a reverse. You're giving your attention to work. You're focusing on your finances. That's where your energy is. You're focusing on something that you want to be successful. You're trying to bring in some success in a business. That's what I'm seeing. And you're not focusing on love at this time at all. Because something was stuck, suspended in the air. And you've made a decision to walk away or to move away from someone that is non-committal, that is unstable. Okay. 
you have made a decision to move your energy away from this person. What else is here for the sign of Aries? Why is it six? And look how your cards are coming out. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these three, but I'm not going to take those first. I'll take these three because they came out. So, you walked away from someone that was juggling. This person could have caused you some type of hardship. It took you a long time to walk away from this person. Could have been married to them or in a long-term commitment. But you definitely walked away from them. Yeah, here it is again. To become single. Or you're living a single life. And now you have st the stability that you needed. Because you moved away. You made a ranged decision to move away from this person. You got tired of working on a situation alone. Has the page of cups in a reverse. You're not offering this person anything. You are not offering on anything at this time. Nope. Look at this. Knight of cups in a reverse. You are not offering them. You're moving in another direction. And I feel like you're focusing on your finances. Yeah. You're manifesting. Gemini Virgo energy. You moved away from this person. This person was a trickster. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. This person was deceptive. With their seven of swords, they like to play games. You wanted to start over and with, with a new beginning, but this person disappointed you, stabbed you in your back, had you up at night, thinking and wondering what the heck is going on. They caused the foundation of your union to come crumbling down. Scorpio Aries energy. You may have put this person out of a home or someone was put out of a home. And now this person may be trying to come back and to rebuild, but you don't want to, you, yeah, to strength card in the reverse. You don't have the strength to deal with this person, Leo's energy. You don't have the strength to deal with them anymore. Not right now at this time. You put it into that cycle. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. And now, again, this person could be receiving their karma, Scorpio's energy. But they definitely want to... um start something over with you they feel defeated they feel like they lost so they want to come back in but i feel like there's still conflicts bickering fighting going back and forth arguments because this person hey um is juggling yeah this person is juggling and now they want to again come back in to reconnect they want to come home but the they're there's um you're you're anxious you're you you're you're on the fence about this you don't know if you should take them back or not the decisions is yours however i feel like if you're not taking them back that's the best thing because with this double card coming out this person is a manipulator could be a cancer or a pisces this person is a manipulator manipulator they overindulge in things they have addictions yeah and I feel like you need to move forward in order to maintain your balance, the balance that you have right now. Yep, because you're not going to be able to overcome the obstacles that are in the way with this person. You're you're not going to be able to see eye to eye with this person because this person is still dealing with multiple people. Yep. And I feel like you've gained the clarity that you need that this person is still going to be being sneaky. So you can be happy by yourself or on your own and continue to focus. This is how this person is going to leave you, disappointed. They want to make you feel disappointed because they still have options that they're not walking away from. They're not walking away from these options. See? The moon card. This person is still going to have secrets, still going to um, do what they want to do, still keep you in the dark about things, and this is how you're going to feel. Weighed down, burdened, feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your um, shoulders because this person is still a player. So I am going to leave it at that, Aries. This is your reading. For the energy in November, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. 
I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week as well as your holiday. And I will see you next time. Bye.